As I was trying to get a good bird song this morning, there were just too many birds for me to zero in on just one. So I thought what I would do is talk a little bit about what you can do to learn what birds you have in your yard. So some of the things that really help when you're gonna do some bird watching are to have a good field guide. So this is a great one, Sibley's Guide to Birds. Um, another one that I really love that I mentioned before in a video was Peterson's field guide. So having a field guide is good. You can look up pictures of birds. If you have, a lot of times if you have a, a good idea of what it is that you're looking at, uh, what kind of bird, is it a sparrow? Is it a warbler? Is it a raptor? You can kind of narrow it down and then just look. Again, you want to look for those field marks that we talked about last time. Another thing that I think is helpful, and this is really old school, so it's kind of embarrassing, but um, this is a CD of bird songs. Um, now you can get really good apps and there are websites, but I really love my birding CDs. And so you can listen to those and then, especially if you think you know what it is, go to that and see if it sounds the same and then you can kind of compare back and forth. Like I said though, there are some really great birding apps. Um, another that I really love having are binoculars. So I was lucky enough to get binoculars for Christmas this year and I, love being able to use them. In fact, I was trying to figure out what a bird was that I was looking at this morning and I couldn't see it. I'm like, wait a minute, I have binoculars. I can go get them. So that was, that was fun. And I know binoculars are expensive, um, but I bet that somebody you know has them laying around their house somewhere that you could find them. So if you're interested in doing some bird watching, I would, you know, I would suggest um, a field guide, um, so listening to some songs, and then also binoculars. Now, one of the ways to use binoculars, um, what you wanna do is you wanna first make sure they fit to your face. So you wanna make sure that they're comfortable, that you can see just one circle when you're looking with both eyes through the binoculars. So that's the first thing. And then what you can do is you can use the, the knob on the top as a focus to try and focus that in. Now, if I saw, let's say I saw something in the tree over there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my eye on what I saw and I'm gonna bring my binoculars up to my face. That way I'm gonna get closer because of course the binoculars are making everything bigger. And so it, sometimes it's hard to zero in on what they are, but that will help you do that. So I'm hoping again, like I said, that you'll go out, do some um, listening and figure out what you have in your yard this week um, and this weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody.